Hey guys, Vex Education here and welcome back to the Blueprints Creation Series. And in today's episode, we're going to be showing you how you can create a basic elevator inside of Unreal Engine 4 using um, Matinee and Blueprints. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, press play and show you exactly what we're going to be creating. So I've got this little elevator set up here. So when I run up the ramp and onto the box, it moves up. And you can also hear a little sound. And once I come off, it reverses. If I jump down and then go back onto it, you can use it over and over and over again. Uh, so let's just go ahead and take a quick look at this in a little bit more detail. So over here, we've got our basic box, we've got a trigger, and uh, we've also got a matinee actor, uh, which is over here for whatever reason. I'm just gonna move this over so I can get to it a little bit easier. And over in the blueprints section, if I go over to level blueprints, you can see I've got a couple of events, one for begin overlap and one for end overlap. The begin essentially goes into play and, and just plays the matinee actor. And then once you come out of that trigger, it's just going to reverse it, which is what sends it back down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the matinee here and show you what we've got. So if I go ahead and move my camera over here, and press play, you can see we've got the elevator going up and that also moves the trigger box as well. And we've also got it to play a sound. Anyway, so let's just go ahead and delete all of this stuff and um, then we can actually begin creating it for ourselves. It's very simple, very quick. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So first things first, you're gonna want to create a box or something that you can actually use as an elevator. So for now, I'm just gonna create a basic cube. Make sure it's not BSP, just make sure it's a, a proper basic uh, geometry actor. And then we're gonna set it to movable. That's probably the first thing you're gonna want to do. That way Matinee actually has control over it. Um, it's gonna be set to dynamic and it can be moved inside of Matinee. So now we've done that, let's just go ahead and resize, uh, resize our little box here. I'm gonna put that down and I'm gonna move it up into where our elevator should be roughly. So once you've done that, it may take you a bit of time depending on where you're trying to place this elevator. Uh, Yep, there we go, all done now. And uh, the next thing we need to do is add the trigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, type in trigger up here, top left hand corner, and I'm gonna drag in a box trigger. And I'm also gonna resize this to the shape of the elevator. I wanna make sure it covers the entire elevator, but I don't want it to go over. So now we've done that, let's go ahead and click and drag that up, just like this. Uh, we can get started with the matinee now. So to create a new matinee, uh, it's very simple. Just go over to matinee in the top middle, press add matinee, and boom. And it should open up the little matinee screen. Now, some of you may or may not have seen this before. Um, if you saw the last episode where I showed you how to use the sliding, uh, create the sliding door, you will do. Um, or if you've only just watched my series as of so far, you might not know how to use it on uh, Unreal Engine 4. Anyway, so let's just go ahead and set up the movement for the elevator block. So to do that, click the elevator block, right click over here in tracks, and go to new empty group. And we're just gonna call this mover block. And once we've done that, right click on that group and go to new movement track. Don't select any of the others. It's gotta be a movement track. That way uh, we can actually move things up, down, left, right, do whatever we want to. So go ahead and do that. And now you can see that we've got the first keyframe and we're gonna want two, key two keyframes, one for point A and uh, a second one for point B. So to create your second keyframe, just go ahead and press enter and then hold down control, click it, the little red arrow, and then just drag it out to about two and a half seconds. And now once we've done that, with the second keyframe, we're just gonna move it up a bit up to the second location just like that. And you can also see now we've got the little yellow, arrow, uh, yellow line indicating uh, where the uh, last where the last keyframe is and just showing you where it's going to go so if i go ahead and press play real quick you can see now it's going to move straight up or if i press reverse it's going to go back down just like that now we also need to do the same thing for the trigger uh, we want to move this up because the player is actually going to have 
it's going to be using that end overlap uh, node inside a blueprint. So we still want it to be up on the uh, on the box, but we want it to be up at the top once it's finished playing. And we don't want it to be any earlier as well. So uh, let's just go ahead and move the trigger as well. So right click, add new empty group. Make sure you're selecting the trigger here, nothing else. And we're just going to call this trigger mover. And uh, we're going to right click on that, add new movement track once again. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. Press enter, control, click, and create our second keyframe. And we're just going to move this up uh, with the with the elevator block here. And you can see we've also now got our second line showing us uh, the keyframe. So if I go ahead and press stop, press play, you can see it's now moving up with a block, which is absolutely brilliant. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is the sound. So we're gonna actually need to find a sound for this. If you go to starter content, audio, I'm just gonna use this steam cue. And I'm just gonna chuck it in just like this. And um, there is also an option for uh, auto activate in here. So just make sure you uncheck that because you don't want it playing all the time. Um, and we're just going to activate it in matinee uh, when we need it. So open up our matinee again. Just go to matinee and then matinee active free or whichever one it is you're using. Go to uh, add new group once again. And we're just going to call this sound. And this time instead of a movement track, we're going to be using uh, a soundtrack. So make sure you've still got your sound cue selected. Press add new soundtrack. And we're just gonna go ahead and press enter with the steam cue selected. Now you can see that this, uh, the cue is, loop, is looped. So it's just gonna keep playing and playing and playing. Um, instead of messing around with that, I'm just gonna turn down the, uh, the end point of the matinee. You can do that by playing around with the two red arrows uh, down here. So you've got the first one here, which is a start point. And then the second one, which is the end point. And I'm going to end that at about two and a half seconds. So now if I press stop and play, you can see it stops the audio at two and a half seconds. And it also stops it in time with uh, the last key points that I have here. So let's go ahead and close matinee. Everything should be all fine and dandy inside of there. And we're going to go ahead and open up the level blueprint. So just go to blueprints, open level blueprint. And I'm just going to quickly delete all of this stuff from before. And we're going to create our collision events. Um, so select the trigger, right click, and go to add event, collision, and then begin overlap. So that's going to be for when they first touch it. And the second one, add event, collision, end overlap. Just like that. Boom. Done. Uh, there we go. And the next thing we want to do is select the matinee actor. So just find that wherever it is. Um, if you can't see it in your level, just go to the world outliner up here, select it, and we're going to get in a play, uh, play command. So I want to make sure it's cinematic and not, uh, the function bit. Uh, you won't see that here, but just go ahead and drag one of those in and boom. And we're going to hook this up. And the next one we're going to do is reverse. So type in reverse and make sure once again it's a cinematic and not the string and all we're going to do now is simply just hook that up and uh, let's just go ahead and jump into the level and see what's going on so now if I run up to the elevator go on top of it you can hear the sound it moves us up and stops at two and a half seconds as soon as I leave this which is going to be the end overlap it's going to send it back down using the reverse command that I showed you inside of blueprints. And I can use this over and over and over again. It's a great way to add a little bit of more dynamicness to your level um, or just move the player around, do whatever you want. It doesn't have to be limited to up and down. You can move anything with this. Um, so just play around with it. Thanks for watching. Comment, like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.